started collecting like old like textiles. I have a lot of denim jackets, none of which I, I like get fixed on one and wear that all the time. And and talking to people who know more about different like production years and whatnot is, is sort of fun for me to to explore that, especially when it was still American made stuff. In 2009, I started a Tumblr with my friend Andrea, who lives in San Francisco. I think we had been running the blog together maybe a year or two before we actually met in person. And it started as like a mutual, like catch-all, like place to post about women we thought were really awesome in any capacity. In 2011, I needed something to like focus my energy on. And so that's when we started the print magazine because for me, it was a great vehicle to approach people, to photograph them in a non-creepy way, but also to interview them and get to know about these people more in depth. So it's kind of like interview magazine style where it's just interviews um, with women, by women, uh, and we're working on our fifth issue now. Um, I was going to talk about how I have accidentally collected pigeon wings over the years. <laughs> just something that happened, like, one, because I've had many roommates' cats who just seem to be able to bring them inside the house, and then two, I took a taxidermy class once, and it's pretty easy to, like, find a roadkill pigeon in the street and, like, clip its wings, and <laughs> now I have a collection. <laughs> like, just, uh, she went to school for fashion. Yeah, I went to school for fashion here in the city, um, and I work in like a bit of textiles and product development for apparel. Um, but I think it was cool that Meg came to me because I think we've been like collaborating very well. We've been kind of collaborating on like what Meg's magazine has been like standing for. We wanted to make like a like a back patch. Um, one is a yin yang that looks like a a a, a black and a white breast. <laughs> Yeah, so everything's hand-dyed. Um, it's really, it's been really rad working with Meg. Cause I, I feel like I do a lot of stuff on my own, but it's been really cool to like work with someone and like kick ideas around and like I think it, it grows to like a different level that you wouldn't normally see it yourself. So that's, that's. I have no background in publishing whatsoever. Um, our fourth issue, which is our current one, was the first one that was self-sustaining. Deal. And, and then as of this next issue, we're finally able to start paying people, which is, which is really rad. I work as a retoucher by day, so like any moral issue I have with the work that I do, having a, a women's studies minor, um, this is the, the project that keeps me sane.